so spacious. I think this one will be perfect for the family room. As you can see, I made the changes you requested. Everything seems to be in order. Well, your husband's already signed, so with your signature, the house is yours. Hmm? I must say, I'm very impressed at the speed with which you closed this deal. Three days, I think it's a record. I was a partner in a law firm before we moved here. I knew someone had a background in law. You were so thorough with the paperwork. People just don't take pride in their work these days. That's what attracted me to this house. It's so well made, the grounds are beautiful, straight out of better homes and gardens. Well, I can assure you, this neighborhood will be like a passkey to the right places. I'll have to introduce you to Karen Anderson. Her husband is very well connected. She's someone you definitely want to know. Uh, this is for you. Mm. And I think that's it. I want to thank you for making everything go so smoothly. Most realtors aren't willing to work this quickly. It's no problem. Rarely do I have a cash and carry client. I wish I could have met Dr. Desmond. He's a man dedicated to his work. Thank God for cellular phones. <laughs> Life of a doctor. It can be trying, but it has its benefits. <sighs> well, that's about it. Call me if I can be of any further assistance. Lucy, I'm home. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Hello to you as well. How the hell could you be so damn careless? Everything seemed on the up and up. I, I thought it was strange to pay cash, but with the market nowadays, you go for a sure thing. Besides, I had problems moving that house. You're so damn picky about your neighbors. Oh, it's my fault? No, your greed has fucked everyone. You're complaining about someone else's greed? Please. We have a problem, Dick. What do you suggest we do for damage control? Besides revoking your license? If the conversation is turning self-righteous, let's talk about your alleged impending divorce, shall we? All right. I'll make some phone calls. But you go through that paperwork and you find a loophole. Mrs. Desmond caught every subtle trick I put in my contracts and then rewrote it. Jeez, this woman is thorough. Her husband probably lives off of her. Yeah, well, he did up until now. Now, the furniture should be here by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and the cable, water, and electricity should be on by noon. Now, we're not going to have the phones right away, but we have the cellulars. So where am I on that to-do list? There's no to-do list for you. That's right. Mm. You are here in my heart. I love you. I love you. Damn lush. You made me this way. Look, if you want to continue to spend your days doing nothing, I suggest you get over there and check out those Desmonds. Oh. So now, all of a sudden, my opinion about people matters. Now is not the time for that. Now, they've been here two whole days. I don't want them getting comfortable. I got members of the club calling me up wanting to cancel their membership. Desmond had the gall to call me yesterday personally and ask me for an application to be a member. Well, here we go again. What is the excuse this time? What's wrong with these people? Look, you've got as much to lose with this as I do. They're right next door, for Christ's sake. I want them out of here as quick as possible, okay? I'm not gonna be living in any colored ghetto. I am not going to spy on anyone. Do your own dirty work. Living in luxury must really hurt, huh? 
When does it end, Dick? With the Franks, the Fongs, the Johnsons, even your friend Ted. He's just not our kind. Here, black men are always undressing you with their eyes. Oh, I wouldn't know. My only experience with minorities is limited to television, except for the occasional sales clerk. That was the purpose of this neighborhood. Ladies, please sit down. Thank you for the gift. You caught me unprepared for guests. I don't even have any coffee to serve you. That's why we brought the basket of goodies, dear. We haven't met any of our neighbors yet. People are very conscientious about appearance. You'll have to excuse me for my quick departure. I suddenly realized that I had a meeting. I hope your husband didn't take offense. My husband understands the importance of meetings. Did your husband join an established practice? He sold his family practice to take a research position here at the hospital. Married long? Ah, uh, five years. No children yet. We wanted to find the right community first. Maybe you're still searching. Excuse me? It's just that we live here, dear. It's not a breeding ground for experiments. <laughs>